Colleagues, the purpose of this is to present a resolution regarding the situation in the Ukraine, this grave circumstance affecting the people of Ukraine, but affecting the globe. And to kind of put it in perspective, you know, words multiply on this floor. And some words are especially important and rich in their meaning. We start our sessions with, I pledge allegiance to the flag. And I know that touches each one of our hearts. Our national anthem, oh say, can you see? You know, mm -hmm. Francis Scott Key wrote that he was looking at heroism from afar. He was looking at that fortress through the night, bomb blasts going off, and seeing that the flag was still there. Our national anthem stirs our hearts, and it is words of heroism from afar in history and in space. And I say this because I want you to reflect for a moment as I take up this resolution on the opening line of the Ukrainian national anthem. What did they conjure up to be the opening line of their national anthem? Glory and freedom of Ukraine has not yet perished. These are powerful words to reflect upon a people fighting for their lives. And yet those are the words that bind their hearts together, convey their sense of their future, their purpose. So colleagues, I am honored today. I represent really here in Sacramento County, the largest diaspora of Ukrainian immigrants in the world, as we in California do. But it's a very, very large population here. And back in 19, 2014, when they started sending truckloads of perishables and food to Ukraine because this same power was encroaching in, a, in their land, I was honored to join with my community and do the ribbon cutting for that first truck. But this is a vast community in our state and certainly here in Sacramento County. Mr. Kiley and my district together. On February 24, 2022, Russia invaded its neighbor Ukraine, threatened their democratically elected government in an attack that violates the rule of law, national sovereignty, and free democracy. And as a freely elected democracy, Ukraine and President Volodymyr Zelensky share many of the same democratic principles we do in California and are fighting to defend and preserve these ideals which is why we relate to the opening line of their national anthem. Glory and freedom of Ukraine has not yet perished. The United States and our allies quickly condemned the actions of Russian President Vladimir Putin and mobilized to support the people of Ukraine and hold the Russian government accountable for its aggression. And I want to note that there's just a long history behind those words. Freedom, glory and freedom of Ukraine has not yet perished. Back in 1932, this people were subject to a orchestrated famine, which killed 25% of the people of rural Ukraine. It's referred to as the Holodomor, a man-made genocide. Despite it being one of the most productive areas in the then Soviet Union, a breadbasket, and yet people died by a famine. 2004, the Ukrainian people engaged in mass protests against electoral fraud and corruption in an event known as the Orange Revolution. So they are devoted to democracy. Glory and freedom has not yet perished. Again in 2014, they engaged in mass protests as civil disobedience went under pressure from Russia. Russia the Ukrainian government suspended negotiations for greater cooperation with the European Union. That event is known as the Maidan, or the Revolution of Dignity. Um, so this is all a part of a long pattern in their world of pressure, of intimidation, of 
threat of violence and violence in fact. And this is a people who hear their national anthem and hear glory and freedom of Ukraine has not yet perished. I'm honored to bring this resolution to the floor today to stand with this courageous people against the predations of the president of the Soviet Union and uh, 30 seconds. I request your I vote. Colleagues, I just thank you all for your contribution to this resolution, your remarks. Um, all week I've had this phrase in my mind, a long beginning moment. We do not actually know what is the course of what will transpire in Ukraine. We only know each day we find what is the latest. It is this long beginning moment. It is a moment where I know here in Sacramento County, but throughout our state, throughout the world, I think there are many faiths that people center their lives around. But I know for all of them, this is surely a time when they sort of go back to their foundations. They think about what truly matters. And I know for the students of the Bible and the Ukrainian faith, there are many phrases that come to mind, but there's one that stands out. You, you cannot abide a situation when people say peace, peace, but there is no peace. So I think that is the moment that the modern age finds itself in, looking at what is transpiring, not wishing to have our app cart, apple carts of peace unsettled, but really saying, what is the path of peace? As uh, we've remarked on this floor in many different ways. So I request that the first roll be open for co-authors. I thank you for your solidarity here and for the unanimity of views expressed today and the passion. I thank you all.